This piece came from an antique store in Dodge City, Kansas. Okay. My, my mom, who was fantastic at finding just the right treasure, you know, and you were doing something in your life, found it for me. At the time, I was living in Southern Colorado, right. and we were uh, renovating a house and a cabin on an old ranch. And this was just the perfect piece for the cabin renovation because the cabin had actually been a bunkhouse for cowboys really? when, when yeah. the place was a working ranch. Okay. Sometimes I would think maybe it was hanging upstairs, you know, where the, where, in the, hidden, where the real fun might have been going Where the real on. fun might have happened. The cowboy I, and the lady. I hear you. Right, yeah, yeah. Right. So anyway, I've just so, used my imagination and kept it all these years. Do you know why the, yeah. why the lady's quite so dressed up and the cowboy's just a cowboy and why there's this whole thing about the cowboy and the lady? Do you know what it refers to? No, well, no, I'm, I'm so excited for you to tell me. This was actually made, actually inspired by the 1938 film. It was, it was a classic. Amazing. A romantic comedy. That yeah, is The amazing. Cowboy and the Lady. Oh, my goodness. And oh, my goodness. With Gary Cooper. Oh, my goodness. And Merle Oberon. Oh, my goodness. And it was a, it was a romantic comedy. Wow. And it, it's about this, this high society, this socialite, the lovely gal, though, she can't go out and have any fun because her father's a politician, and if she gets in trouble, it'll ruin his career. So she disguises herself as a maid and oh. goes out with her maids, uh -huh. and she's totally, you know, dressed plainly because and all that. Because she meets this hottie cowboy. She meets the hottie, yep. <laughs> you got it, Gary Cooper. Okay. His name was, was Stretch Willoughby in Stretch the movie. Stretch Willoughby. And, okay. and yeah, what and of course she falls for him. It was such a huge film. It was like hugely popular. This is all cut out on a on a table saw. And here you can see the horizontal lines just right here. But it's entirely cut on a table saw, probably in someone's basement, all out of plywood. Amazing. And I think it's beautifully done. The jeans are great because of some of the varnish has come off and they expose the, the earlier blue. Oh, I see you know, that this, coming through. Yeah, yeah this so yellow huh? varnish is just, it's just varnish that's, all oh, that's underneath Amazing. there. Amazing. And the red cowboy boots, don't you love Yeah, those? the red yeah. cowboy boots. And the way he, I mean, for me, I, I mean, I was joking around when you were looking. I tried to do this, this yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. thing. <laughs> I, I was, I'm bow legged anyway, so it wasn't that hard. I can, I, I can really, I can do it. It's, it's just a great example. It's all, it's all, real, it's authentic, and how much did your mom pay? Oh gosh, I mean, she wouldn't have paid more than 150 bucks, okay. I'm sure. It has a great look, and it has, it has appeal as folk art and kind of kitsch. You could put an insurance value on this of about $1,800, $1,800. My goodness, yeah. Oh my goodness. I mean, That's crazy. That's it, just crazy. It's not really about the money, but... No, it really but, isn't. But when uh -huh. they say it's not, it's not about the money, it's about the money. No. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So, <laughs> no, but, but seriously, it's the great story. Well, and, it is a great yeah. story, and it's just a great piece to, you know, to hang on to.